Hello friends, this video on diversity in living organisms part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about Pteridophyta. So as we will go ahead, we will see that the features will keep on improving. So when we talk of Pteridophyta, here complete body differentiation exists that means there is a there are distinct root there is a distinct stem there are distinct leaves so the complete body differentiation is there so now let us look at the name of these plants why are they called pteridophyta the word pterid it means ferns and phyta means plants so the fern-like plants are known as pteridophyta. So ferns are an example of pteridophyta where the body differentiation exists. That is, they have specific root, stem and leaves. Let us see what, what all falls under this category of pteridophyta. Ferns, marsilia, horsetails, they all fall under this class. So here if you see, you can see a distinct stem here. You can see the distinct leaves and at the same time there are distinct roots. So these are the pteridophyta and if you see here now they are relatively taller when compared to the bryophytes right. So they have specialized vascular tissues present and that is the reason behind that since they have proper tissues so they have xylem and phloem to conduct water and minerals from root to the above parts of the plant and also from leaves to the different parts of the plant. Therefore, these kind of plants grow longer. So they have bigger height when compared to the bryophytes. The reproductive system again in this case is also hidden. We do not have any, I mean the uh, specific reproductive organs are not visible. So they also fall under the category of cryptogam. So how do they reproduce? They reproduce by spores. Spores are nothing but those small um, substances or we can say they are naked embryos and they can also reproduce sexually as well as asexually right so let us look at the examples of pteridophyta these are the ferns these are marsilia so here you can see that this picture of marsilia will tell you how everything is distinct so you can see this is the stem these are the roots and these are the leaves and also you see small structures like this so what are these these are nothing but sporocarp so what is sporocarp sporocarp is a structure that produces and releases the spores so in marsilia these sporocarps are there so they will release spores and then the spores are carried away over distances by wind and there they give rise to new plants so that was all about pteridophyta which has got distinct plant differentiation and as well as distinct vascular tissues. Let us now talk about phanerogams. So in phanerogams also the body differentiation exists that is they have root, stem and leaves. Examples would include trees like the pine trees, the rose plant they all fall under the category of phanerogams. So here also specialized vascular tissues are present. Specialized reproductive tissues are also present here. So that means now no more they have hidden reproductive system. So thallophytes, bryophytes and pteridophytes, they all have hidden reproductive system. So we do not exactly see the exact reproductive organs. But in case of phanerogams, specialized reproductive tissues are also present. So you see, as we are going ahead with each plant type, there are some advancements or there are some improvements. Because in thallophytes, there was no body differentiation, no vascular tissue, no reproductive tissue. Gradually in bryophytes, there was little bit of body differentiation, no vascular tissue, no reproductive tissue. Then came pteridophytes with complete body differentiation, specialized vascular tissue, but no reproductive tissue. Now in phanerogams, we have complete body differentiation, specialized vascular tissue, as well as specialized reproductive tissues. So in these kinds of plants, seeds are produced. So what are seeds? Seeds are nothing but seeds are the ones who will actually, you know, which actually helps in reproduction. So seeds will actually give rise to new plants. So how did this phanerogam's name came? The word phanerogam, phanero, this actually means visible. 
So since the reproductive system is visible here, it is not hidden, that is why they are known as phanerogams, right? So now the question is, what are these seeds actually? What does a seed consist of? So when I talk of seed, a seed is nothing but the embryo. What is the embryo? Embryo is nothing but an organism in its initial stages of development, especially before it has reached a distinct recognizable form. That means the very early stage when some organism has just started to develop. When by looking at that organism, you just can't even see that, okay, this is going to be a plant or this is going to be this plant or something like that. So when it is not in a very distinct form, but it has just started to develop, that stage it is known as embryo. So a seed is nothing but an embryo plus the food stored for the initial growth of the embryo. So that is the speciality of a seed. So it will consist of the embryo plus the food stored for initial growth of embryo because when we talk about the spores so even the spores also help in reproduction so seeds also help in reproduction so you might ask then what is the difference between spores and seeds so spores are nothing but naked embryos they are just the embryo nothing else but in case of seeds it is the embryo plus the food which is stored for the initial growth of the embryo so how does the reproduction by seed is little different so in this case the pa the parent protects during the initial stages of development because the parent is providing the food as well since the food is also provided so there is little more protection which is offered to the embryo in case of a seed right so this embryo is multicellular young plant with root stem and leaves so it is a multicellular young plant at a very early stage of its development so we can say that in reproduction using spores they do not get much attention at the initial stages of development because it is just a naked embryo but in this case since the additional food is also present so they get more attention during the initial stages of development right so this was all about phanerogams so phanerogams are very similar to pteridophytes just that in pteridophytes we have naked embryos or hidden reproductive system and in this case we have specialized reproductive system and we have seeds here Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.